do you have access to the the self test kits? I'm talking about the oral and the blood based test kits. Do you have access to them in the Bono East region? Yes, I mean nationally it's a program issue where they allocate based on population as we said. So from where I uh, we don't have shortage as we are speaking now. But then the question is, is the population aware? That, well, that, that's another that, thing. That, that's a question I should throw back to you. Yes. Uh, are so they, uh, that is what we will and, have and are they using, using them? Are they patronizing them? Yes, that is what we are going to look at. If you ask me, I have to give you an honest answer. That what we have to move to do is that is the population really aware when it comes to this issue, when it comes to this intervention and tools, and for them to really have them. I think that 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 will be our drive this year, 2020, uh, 2024. Our drive. What what specifically are you going to do as as a regional directorate of health? Uh, we, we, we we are this year. Our target is involving the community. What we are really going to drive for 2024 is how you will mobilize the community health zone, compound, and more importantly, the network of practice as a very flagship intervention that we are going to. Because everybody lives in a community, no matter where. And these are low hanging fruits. We have our health workers already there that can get them. And the reason why I am saying that is that, look, at times, because at the end of the day, we can we all go back to our houses. When we finish our work, we go to our community. So if we can empower the community, and we have a way of doing that, the community information system, we, we, we have churches, we have mosques, we have traditional, we have traditional leaders, authorities who are part of that. That will be our channel that we are going to do. And not even only that, we are also even thinking about when we come to outbreak investigation, how we are going to involve the community. And the case in hand is that, for example, you are at the hospital, somebody comes to your hospital, and we see that this woman is having, let's say, a viral hemorrhagic fever or Marbeck uh, uh, hemorrhagic one, and then tell this woman that because of this, you don't, let, you are not going to let you go to the house. The woman just came to the hospital to go and buy bread to go and feed the family. So how do we also get the community earlier so that we also stimulate within the community all these emergencies so that when they come, don't tell us that we want to use them for money. So this year, 2024, doing it is going to go into the community, involving the community. Do they really understand? Do they really get what we are talking about? And what do they want us to do for? So this is what we are going to channel through the sub district, the six compound. And I think that next year, God willing, I'll be able to give you the feedback. Or even the media, I'll be able to give you the feedback how far we can really to try to.